What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Catching Them with Cole. Today, we got an unboxing. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet until I open it. So let me find the scissors. Yeah, here we go. Alright. know who this guy is for me if you're watching me you definitely know who he is I got the AP Bassin backpack all right I'm gonna review it for you guys and load all my tackle into it too okay this is basically what the backpack looks like just got home from school and this was at my front door it comes with this part I originally was using this backpack, but this backpack ripped here. I sewed this back together, sewed this. It ripped right there. This part ripped. And on the inside of here, there was like originally bags, but those broke. So yeah, that's the Tackle Warehouse backpack. It's a good backpack, holds a lot of stuff, but it is not durable at all. So I'm gonna review this backpack and so we got. So first of all, got the sunglass holder. This is AP. This is the rigged edition, limited edition. All right, open up the biggest pocket in here. We got these two little binder clip thingies. If you can see that, right there and right there, and those are to hold your soft plastics. So, or you could probably fit a small tackle box in there. All right, second bag down. We got two plier pouches, pouch for, not really sure, and a pouch to hold your string right in here. And this, I don't know what that fit, but you could put something in there, so. Yeah, two plier pouches, something I don't know, goes there, and a pouch to hold your string. All right, going down this bag into the third compartment. If I can open it. it. Did just come out of the mail, so it's a little stiff. Here is this. You can fit three 3,700 size boxes in here. Right in there. Pretty good. And then moving down to the last compartment, we got a mesh. Well, it's not mesh, it's like a waterproof type thing here. So that way you can put like any, you, if, you, if you don't want to put your baits back, you just toss them in here and zip it up and they won't really get stuck to anything. And this bag is completely waterproof. So that is really good. So I'm gonna start loading it up with all this stuff. I'm probably, well, yeah, I'm not gonna use this sunglass holder. So, cool. All right, so then, Let's get that. So I'm just gonna take the thing out of here. Let's get this little thing off of here. There's this. These little things, they're called like, let's see, boomerang tool. They're really nice. They're little line cutters and they're like extendable. And I'm going to attach these right here where the sunglass holder went. Oh, I had fire somewhere in here. I'm trying to find those pliers. All right, these are some split ring puppetry right KVD pliers. So I can undo this switch ring. Boom. Again, like I said, this tool right here is super useful. Just clips onto your backpack, or you can just clip it on to like your pants or something. If I could even get it on my bag. Okay, there we go. So really whatever you want to clip it onto, you can.
And there's that. Clips right on that band. I cut my string with that. Ooh, that was the first thing I added. And this old backpack also comes in a different edition. Has the AP. This backpack comes in a different edition. Has the AP logo without the rig patch down there. Without that. And it's gray. But it's like, same thing. So, I'm going to put these pliers here into this fire pouch so there is that boom that one should work good all right there's that and i don't really know what you would put here i mean i guess you can put whatever you want and i am going to take this so boom these are what I have in the backpack for like some of my soft plastics, and I have more soft plastics in here. But I am going to take this string out of here, slide it on into this little pocket there. That works super good for holding a string. And this backpack is designed by AP Bassin. Yeah, if you want to follow him, I'll put it. Link in the description. I don't really know why I'm shouting him out because I mean, he has like 200,000 subscribers and I have 37, which you I mean we should try to get up. So don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. If we hit 50, that'd be awesome. And if we hit 100, I'll do a 100 subscriber giveaway. So yeah, anyway. Okay, so I got my string here, pliers here, and this little snipper thing. This backpack also comes with a water bottle holder. Interesting water bottle holder, actually, but probably be pretty good. Oh no, that's a rod holder. Stupid. Oh no. Here are the rod holders over here. This is a water bottle holder. And this backpack comes with three rod holders on here and like these straps to strap it down. Okay, so I got everything. I really need in this pocket, I think. If I need more stuff, so then I have a couple. Add it in there. So yeah. Alright, now we're gonna move on to this pocket down here. Okay, I'm going to add Alright, not not in that yet. Boom. This is jig spinner bait buzz baits. Stuff like that. And trailers for jigs. Boom. Add in this. Should this go this way or the other way? Boom, 13700 size box in the AP bag. Probably should close it. There we go. Another 3700 size box in the AP bag. And I have this third 3700 size box. But this backpack comes with. Hold on. Let me get it. Comes with. Oh, hey, that binder clip came out of it comes with these little these little binder clip things they look just look like that so you can clip your soft plastics onto there as you can see though I took every single one of my soft plastics out of the bag and put them into here so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I think I might just put them all in little ziploc bags and then put them in here but I don't think I'll put that in the video because that might take me a while but for now and this filled with soft plastics is going, oh, getting a phone call from my mom. Hey mom. Ow. All right guys, they made it back. That was my mom asking if I wanted to do thing at the store and she was like telling me to look for stuff in the pantry. She told me to look for beans and diced tomatoes in the pantry. So yeah, got this box. Hmm, set it fit three. Oh yeah, it fits three. Perfect and nice. All right, set that up. This is a big backpack, but that's good. Fit a bunch of stuff in there. All right, and I'm going to see if I can somehow fit my boxes in here. They might actually fit. I don't know. Let's see. So if I just like drop those in there, oh they fit good, they fit really nice in there, so I'm going to put these two in this top bin, 
area up here where you're supposed to use the binder clips, but I'm not gonna right now at this moment. I might put some beats up there on the binder clips, but not all of them. Okay, and there's that. Got everything, all my stuff, all my tackle in there. And I really, really like this backpack. Doesn't weigh too much. Big backpack, holds a lot of stuff. Got room to hold like three water bottles over here in this side compartment area. Got like room to hold three water bottles over there. This is the back. It's got like some reinforced mesh padding here, here and here. And it comes with three rod holders with like these Velcro straps to really hold them in place, which is really nice. Got them with one there, one there, and one there, so I can fit three rods when I'm going pond fishing. And I'll put three rods in there right now for you guys. Let's use these three rods. This is two bait casters, one spinning rod, so they just slide on in, down in through here, in through here, and boom, there you go. Got your three rods in there. So that's one of them. And then we will put another bait caster. Hold on, this is all tangled up. Gosh dang. Okay, so we'll put this bait caster in there. Got this dirty jig, green pumpkin, sugar car trailer on me. We'll put this bait, we'll put this rod in me. Not bait, what, what, what am I thinking? Actually, yeah. Ah, so we are actually going to turn this this way. There we go. That is better. Okay. This is going to slide on in there just like that. I hope. <laughs> okay. And this rod here will. This has a draw on it, I don't know if you're wondering. This right here will slide down. Boop. We'll slide down in there. Just like that. And then you got your three rods and a rod holder so you can carry them on the go. Really good backpack. Seems to be a strong durability. Looks way really stronger than this one. And I'm not putting any paint, paint or anything onto this back. Oh. Probably clean this back out. I'm not putting any hate on this bag. It has a good amount of storage, but Tackle Warehouse, your durability for your backpack sucks. I'm just gonna say that now. Make it stronger. But yeah, oh, I, I guess I do still have some more stuff in here. Got this this headlamp here. We'll probably put that right. So there was like a pouch up here. Right about in this pouch here will go this headlamp. Slide right down in there. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Boom. Zip it back up. Okay. And I have. What else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. This Fast Pro Scale. Probably going to get a new one. I got this dip and die. Spike it, actually. Spike it. Smells like color. Anyway, my room smell nasty, but whatever. I got. What else? Oh. Bug spray. And sunscreen, which is really important here because. Alright. Not sure where I'm going to put this. This might just go in here, just laid down like that. 
I might, I don't know if I'm gonna take it with me, honestly, like, I never really use it, like, ever, at all. This spike it, I'll find a place for, what? Yeah, I love the AP backpack so far. When I'm done fishing tomorrow, I'll probably go fishing, most definitely. When I'm done fishing with the AP backpack tomorrow, I will give you guys a more better review on really how I like it. But so far, has tons of space, great backpack, I absolutely love it. And if you guys want to buy one, I'll leave the link to them in the description below. It's apmerchandise.com. And I will see you guys next time on Catching Them With Cole.